Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning, I hope everybody has a lovely day. Um, the sun seems to have gone, I still feel warm in this flat, exceptionally warm. And um, it's cloudy outside and it looks like it's going to rain. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. And happy birthday to actor Gillian Anderson. Recent gigs include The Crown and Sex Education, though she remains best known for her breakout role as the skeptical Dr. Dana Scully in The X Files. The truth is out there. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. It's 7 09 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Friday, the 9th of August. Alexa, what's the weather outlook? In Rochester, it's 18 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds, with a high of 25 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? How did Darth Vader know what Luke was getting for his birthday? He felt his presence. Um, Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include Japanese judoka Hifu Mie, Vivek Ramaswamy, British-American film, television and theatre actress, activist and writer Gillian Anderson, American actress and singer Anna Kendrick, and Swedish actor Bill Skarsgård. Right, so I'm just making myself a cup of coffee at the moment. inside the flat it is really really hot but if you look outside it's windy and dreary plants Still flowers, flowering. Um, so it is Friday morning. Friday. Um, Friday. We're supposed to be having the police come out today. All, all I've had so far is a chap like the guy upstairs, well, he sounded like his voice, coughing outside near, near my window, coughing. Um, but, you know, people cough, people clear their throat, so I'm not reading anything into that, but... Um, I, I honestly do not think the police are going to do anything at all. I really don't. Um, I don't know what was going on yesterday at all. I, I don't know why the, what that drilling was all about, why it lasted like a minute, three times for about a minute. But the noise was excruciating. It was awful. I had to get out of the living room. It was, it was terrible. Um, I do think that the neighbours want me to move. I honestly do. I think they want me to get out of this flat. I don't know why they've wanted me to get out of it as soon as I've moved into it. I haven't a clue why. It's when the guy next door... When I was coming into the flats the other day, I was coming in ne next door, and his voice haunts me. It's a, it's a really, um, one of these voices that you'll remember. It's, it's, he's got an accent, and he went, move, to his dog, move. Just 
just did it sound the voice of a loving, caring dog owner to me. It it just didn't. I know what there's sometimes, you know, you you do get cross when your dog's being naughty or your cat's being naughty or something. But it, it just don't sound right to me. How they they're behaving with that dog? It just doesn't doesn't sound right at all. And um, it's the way he said move. And it was when I was coming into the block of flats. I just felt uncomfortable. And um, now y yesterday, someone's drilling really loudly. I mean, if they want me to move, if they want me that to move that badly, then can't, well, find me somewhere to live and pay for it. That's what I say. Honestly, that, that is what it's coming across like. Like they're all ganging up on me to get me out of here for some reason. I mean, they hardly ever see me. I don't make any noise. Honestly, I don't. So uh, what is what is it with with trying to get me out of my flat for? <laughs> so, like I said, the police are coming round. Um, I don't know if they are going to going to do, do anything at all. I've got up early. I just wanted to like get get my bits together um, last time the police came out I told you they just stood in here for five minutes um, I didn't have my evidence I, I didn't have anything to show them I've got things to show them now I've got I've got I've, I've got stuff to show them right and I think you should be in a proper room away from distractions where you can get all your evidence together and not be distracted by you know, people, when you're in your own home, there's noises, there's distractions. Um, this happens when I'm in the doctor's surgery. It's happened. Where did it happen when I was in the opticians? When I went to the opticians, I, didn't, I felt like everyone was listening to my eye consultation. And that was to do with boobs. The opticians was to do with boobs. Someone's fascinated with boobs, and I don't want to keep talking about it. But when I went into the opticians, I was wearing a, a Pride t-shirt. Now, I, me, being me, thought it was a, a, a heart-shaped uh, rainbow, just rainbow hearts. And then I remembered that it stands for Pride. The rainbow stands for Pride, gay pride. But I bought it because I, 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 like, I like the pattern. And it's by Shine, Sheen Shine. And um, I wear it a lot because I like it. If I like something, I buy it, right? And that's what I did. I, I bought that heart, heart-shaped top with the ra rainbow, which is the symbol for pride, in the Mine charity shop in Rochester High Street. And it was like four quid. And I just liked it because it was a rainbow heart. And um, that symbol stands for gay pride. And um, when I went to my optician's appointment, I was, the first consultation, I was seen by women. And the woman that did my eyes, she went, Oh, I like your top. And when I put my eyes into the machine, she told me to look down. And staring down at me was her cleavage, her cleavage, her bosoms. And everybody in the reception area of Boots Opticians was laughing. They were laughing and joking and I could actually hear what they were saying in a supposedly private Boots Opticians uh, consultation room and um, 
the same when I was having my teeth pulled out at the dentist. People walking in and out while I'm led down or, or interrupting, um, you know. And when you have teeth pulled out, it's traumatic. You ask anybody, you know, it's a traumatic experience having a tooth extracted. And if it's not done in a hospital in private and you're in a dentist, dentist surgery, and the dentist surgery I go to has got lots of stairs. So I have my tooth extracted. So you cut, you, you, it's covered in gauze and, and what, whatever, and you're holding that, and there's blood everywhere because you bleed. And you walk down the stairs, and there's all these, these people sat in the waiting room, and you're covered in blood, and you're all out of it because you've had anaesthetic. It, it it can be humiliating and then people are people they you know they're just in there to have a scrape and polish or something and the the, the, the reception rings out with laughter and you feel awful you know but that's what life is like it's pain it, it could be painful it can be embarrassing it can be humiliating it it can be torturous uh, but you know if you've got no good times and no times where you you're happy or, or you, you know you're not getting away from all this stress and this horrible parts of life it, it can cause you to get ill and very unhappy and depressed So has summer gone now? Has summer summer gone here in Medway? Because I took Max out last night. It was all dark and it wasn't raining, but I thought it was about to. And it was cold and it was windy. And it's a long time since I've actually worn a jacket and I had to wear a jacket last night because it was windy. And it actually looked like October, November outside it was quiet on the field outside it was it was quiet quiet no problems just just very quiet um I've got up, I feel a bit, I'm not angry, that noise pissed me off last night, but I wasn't angry, there was like someone pottering about, whether it was next door or upstairs to a quiet late, and I was sat on my chair flicking through Netflix, and I really couldn't find anything to watch, the, the two films that I did watch back to back the other day they were really good films they were brilliant with the irish films absolutely brilliant i enjoyed those um but there was nothing that i really fancied on watch sometimes i'll watch this series of something all the way through because i'm stuck on my own all the time i'm i'm on my own all the time and despite trying several dating sites and meeting the wrong people outside wrong people that are, they're not there because they want a relationship if you want a relationship with someone you don't initiate sex straight away you don't and you, you don't put your hands all over somebody when you don't know them uh, and um, yeah, a lot, a, a lot of people when they these these dating sites have, have got live streams, live streams, and we know because men watch porn and women watch it as well, and you've got Babe Station on the TV late at night. That 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 a lot of women. I, I mean, I'm a woman that doesn't like taking my clothes off. I'm, I'm, I've been married, I've had four kids, I don't like showing my bobbly bits and pieces on camera. I don't. And I'm not a young woman. And I don't make out that I am a young woman either. So I don't know why these men 
when 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 they meet me on a dating site hello beautiful hello sexy why don't we go to whatsapp and play i don't know what that's all about why would a why would a bloke ask a young uh, an older woman in their 50s to take their clothes off and, and do things like that maybe young women do do that you know, because there are they make money. You you look. You've got our fans. You've got women. You've got women on YouTube, sat there being provocative, like doing their washing, sat in their bra and knickers doing their washing, on YouTube, and, and it's just attracting men, isn't it? To look at them like with not hardly any clothes on. <laughs> And it's not real life. When you when you're stripping off over cameras and men are just looking at you, that's not that's that's in their head. That's not real. That's not meeting someone in real life. So when that guy said to me, "I want a relationship. I want I want to like you to be with me," and that that is not being with somebody. That that's not real. So here I am in my flat, early morning, in Rochester, completely normal, away from my mum who was manipulating me or, or, or hiding something, you know, whatever she's doing. And I'm completely normal and I can hear everything, right? I can hear everything, I'm not blinded. By, by my mum's loud voice and I'm disappointed disappointed that I've been shut away for years just being entertainment for people it's disappointing and that someone's been profiting and making money and now it's come to an end and they're the ones that are angry because I will not do what they want me to do. And the coughing, the incessant coughing, and the trigger words, see you later, doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work. Trying to trigger somebody off to make out they're mad and they're speaking nonsense when they're actually speaking the truth. And these people are criminals, they're crooks that need putting away. So guys, whether the police actually do their job today, whether I've got up and it's an absolute waste of time and they're just going to muck me about and fog me off, I don't know, but I will continue to do what I'm doing, get up every morning and uh, do my videos for free and uh, basically I'd be, I'm happy with one or two subscribers that listen and watch my videos than thousands and thousands of fake, fake paid for subscribers, right? So it's, it's, it's you, it's your channel but do you want fake subscribers or real ones and is it about getting subscribers getting views getting likes or is it about you portraying the truth you being you and not being fake and helping other people uh, whether it be entertainment or or helping them through the experiences you've had, showing them that you can't get through it. Is it about, oh, I've got to get more subscribers, more subscribers, more subscribers, or oh, get those lights up, get those lights up, get them up. Is it about that, or is it being true to yourself and true to the people that you are doing your videos to, the real people, not the fake people, right? 
so if I've just got one, two, three subscribers that watch my videos that believe in me, that's great. It's not all about getting subscribers and fucking this. <laughs> It's like, you know when these guys, these guys go out to these venues with a camera? Okay, if they're doing it because they're concerned about what's happening and they're filming it because of what's happening, that, that's fair enough. But if they're, they're doing it because they want to get their subscribers up and they want to get people to like the video, then we've lost all sense of what... Of what <laughs> we're supposed to be doing right because those children that got stabbed in Stockport was all forgotten about because of these riots and the violence people were watching the violence and the riots when we should have been respecting and caring about what had actually happened in Stockport and, and you know holding vigils for those poor children that were stabbed I think this world's gone crazy I think it's very selfish and self-centered I prefer to be by myself and that's the way it's gonna be see you later